Hey everybody, I'm Jer. Welcome back to Stock Voyager. We are going to take a look at VORB, which is Virgin uh, Orbit. It is their kind of Virgin's new uh, company. They've been around, but a newly listed, newly SPAC merged uh, company. We're going to look. Um, I noticed this because I was looking at stocks for the last like week, uh, trying to figure out what has kind of been going up under the radar and what I should be watching. Um, and this one shows up as coming up gradually under the radar. So I want to take a look at it and I want to do that with you. Um, after this video is done, I will uh, write up a DD report for the company and I will post that to stockvoyager.com. Uh, so it'll be easier to be um, written out with all the information just there, easy to read uh, in one document. So uh, I will be doing that after this video is done. Um, let me... Pull this up real quick. Okay. All righty. Let's go. So what I was noticing was here. All right. So um, on January 7th, they were at about 688, 704 right here in the morning. And they kind of stair-stepped their way up to about 820. And then I'm guessing some people were like, okay, this is as high as it can go. Well, they made it all the way up to 8.30 there on the marker. Um, this is marked at 10-minute uh, intervals here. Okay, so at about 1 p.m., they made it up to 8.30. Then kind of fell off a little bit here. Um, and then back down to eh, 2.40, about 7.63. Then uh, before the end of the day, they were up. To, it looks like about 805 and then you'll notice that they kind of just they went up a little bit here in the morning and then kind of found some support here at around 8 789 790 in between 790 and 8 it looks like and then before the end of the day rose up to 819 and kind of again went back to that 8 mark but a little bit up from the 790 so it looks like in between like 8 and 8.10-ish. Okay. Next day they did the same thing. They rose up. This time they rose up quite a bit on the 11th. All the way up to 10.40. And they found some resistance there. Then uh, fell back down to about 9.65. And then uh, before the end of the day again, it had another spike up to 10.61. Where it lit played in between it looks like 1023 and 1060 yeah let's see yeah 1023 still 1019 okay 1020 ish to 1060 and then before the end of the day they spiked again to 1082 and then kind of came off of that back down to 1056 10 and then they open the next day at 1015 this is why i don't hold stocks overnight if i'm going to be trading um, I will hold stocks obviously overnight if I'm going to be investing. Um, but if I'm trading, uh, I won't hold stocks overnight. I just, I, I don't like it because it kind of falls off overnight and then I'll get back in and wait for it to kind of find support. And it looks like that day they found support about 985 ish, uh, in between 985 and 10, then shot up to 1039 before falling back down to, uh, in between 987 and 990 before heading back up in the afternoon back up to 1013 so over this last week what do we got here 56 percent up over the last week and they're kind of stair-stepping here they had fallen a little bit i believe they were down like five percent yesterday the 12th and then now they're kind of going up and it looks like they're about to stair step up to the next level, which they will probably reach. And then again, just count that as their support. Um, yeah, it looks like they're at 1065 right now. Um, so they'll probably find some support. They'll head up a little bit more, most likely, and then find support. Okay, so um, let's look at uh, what has been filed. Okay, so this is, what is this here? This is a subscription agreement where they agreed to buy back uh, shares at $10, I believe. Let's, 
um, command F. Price per share. Um, I don't have a witness on that, but okay. Whereas in connection with minimum available acquirer, acquirer uh, cash amount, the investor desires to subscribe for the and purchase from NextGen, which was the company that this uh, actually combined with. Class A common stock per value, that's normal. Okay. As such, shares will exist as common stock following the dominant domestication which is like the the finalization of the uh spac of the merger okay in a private placement for a purchase price of ten dollars per share having a value equal to aggregated purchase price set forth and signature blah 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 okay so that is that then we go here and this is kind of making everything official uh that they are verbid virgin orbit holdings um if you search for this on the scc site it won't show up as VORB. Uh, you'll need to search for Virgin Orbit Holdings, or Virgin Orbit should do it. <clears throat> okay, so then this is like showing what everybody owns. These are the 5% holders. Um, combined, if you take, is he on there? No, he's not. Okay, so the Virgin Investments Limited is like shared with um, a few different investment firms. There was a 13D filing about it here. Yeah. And it is, so wait, this is not, this is not the right one. This is the correct one. So this is, the Virgin is combined with the Virgin Investments, um, Corvina Holdings, Virgin Group Holdings, Sir Richard Bronson, in, so they are, they all, all, all of those are, and they're basically the same, but they're different. Um, but they each own, they all together own 252 million shares, 252, 126,308 uh, shares, which amounts to 75% of the company. So 75% of the company is owned by Richard Bronson, Sir Richard Bronson and his like investment firms. Um, so that's great. That's great news. 75% owned by him. Awesome. Um, then this other company, Ma, Ma, Ma Dala Investment, um, they own 60 million shares and that makes up 18% of the company. So, uh, two huge owners there. I, they aren't locked up. These shares aren't locked up. I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find where they were locked up, where anything shows that they're locked up. Um, I believe here. Um, it shows Virgin Orbit and common stock issue a pursuant to outstanding stock options held by exercisable or vested within 60 days of December 29th. So it doesn't even show like that's not a lockup. So they become exercisable or vested within 60 days of that date. Um, and still, so that's only a couple of million compared to if we look, if you go to Webull, I don't have it on the computer here, um, but if you go to Webull, where are we at here? Vorb, look up Vorb. Their free float right now is 55 million shares. So 55 million shares are available to the public. Shares outstanding, 386 million, which a good portion of is owned 252 million here. And then another 60 million here. So that puts it to 310. So there's still another 70 million that I'm not seeing. Um, I'll look into that before I do the report and see if I can't find anything else. Okay, so, and then if you look, um, the, the something that would be concerning is that revenue isn't being uh, met by income. So revenue for the last four quarters, 1.19 million with a net income, they lost 13 million. Again, 1.19 million, they lost 13 million. 3.61 million, they lost 36 million. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, 3.61, they lost 30. These are the same numbers. I don't know. 
I wonder if it's just like planned per quarter. Um, so yeah, so they're losing money, but that's something you have to like understand. They're a growth company that is going into they are they they are Virgin's um, satellite launching company. So if you go here, this is the news. Virgin Orbit rockets higher ahead of potential launch as early as tomorrow. Um, and this is, uh, explain it. The rocket launch window opens tomorrow on the backup windows. Blah, blah. The launch will include satellites for U.S. Department of Defense. So they have a deal with U.S. Department of Defense space test program. Um, Polish company Sat Revolution and Spire Global. Um, Spire Global shares gained 14%. That's great. So it looks like Spire might be finally making some money. Okay, so. Verbs Go Public deal appeared to have underwhelmed investors in general as the company raised just 228 million cash to the merger instead of the roughly 483 million that it originally expected. <clears throat> so this isn't a company that I would invest in yet. I do love Richard Branson. I love his, I've read his books. I think he's great. Um, I follow him on Twitter and yeah. So I do, I love him, but you have to understand that this is like just the beginning of this. So it may not be a good time to buy shares for the long term. But with the stock doing this, kind of stair-stepping, it's a very tradable stock. 1083. Right, 1083 right now. Okay, so it's a very tradable stock because it is kind of just stair-stepping. And I think it'll continue to stair-step for a little while. Not financial advice, but this is what I'm looking for. I am looking for them for it to settle, to find support. Know that it finds support. Get in. Watch it spike up and hit resistance. Once I feel it hits resistance, get out. That's my day trade strategy. That's how I do day trades. So um, seeing this, you may end up seeing it kind of spike higher and continue to do this stair step thing. I will be trading it throughout the day. I won't be holding overnight. I won't trade pre-market and I won't trade after hours because I don't on my on my day trades. I don't day trade in the pre-market or after hours because volume just isn't there yet. Volume happens throughout the day. And it just is an easier method for my day trading. You do what you want to do, though. Um, but that's what I would do. I would wait for it to find support, then get in and ride it up to its uh, resistance. Now then, $55 million isn't really low, low float, but it's not high float either. Like that $386 million shares would be really high float. Uh, but $55 million float isn't so bad. You do have to understand that Richard bon Bronson and his uh, firm's shares. There's no lockup, so they can sell those at any point that they want. I don't know if they will or when they will, um, but yeah. So that's something to keep your keep in your mind um, as you trade this stock. Okay, so I would do a DD report for this. Very tradable, not investable yet, in my opinion. I think it needs to have more news, have more launches. Uh, more contracts and more revenue before investing, my opinion. You can do whatever you want. Maybe you see something I don't. Okay, so that is all I have for this video. I'm going to, like I said, I will do the um, I will do the DD report and have that up on um, Stock Voyager uh, shortly. And yeah, that's all I got. Hope you have a wonderful, profitable green day. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.